a lot, David. It's 624. Michigan's crumbling roads have the attention of Michigan legislators, but are they any closer to coming up with a compromise to fix them? Well, joining me now is Michigan's District 21 Senator John Prose, here to talk about this Republican-led Senate voting on a plan just last week. The House made their plan in mid-June. We got to get to a compromise now. And that's the work that's happening right now in Lansing. We have, of course, the House and the Senate working together to try to find a solution between the two different plans that have been proposed. And it's something we've talked about both here with you on the air and, and also in my communities that I represent in Southwest Michigan about the need for road funding and making sure that we get our roads repaired. Well, this was put before voters in Proposal right. 1 last year, and it was voted down. It would have been less, though, for voters, for residents, to have this gas tax be at a lower rate if they would have voted for Proposal 1. But you say it wasn't just about the gas tax. Uh, unfortunately, it was the problem with the Proposal 1 that was on the ballot in May, that lost 80-20, 80 percent of the folks said sure. no was because it was confusing. It had a lot of extra dollars that were in there for areas that weren't going to roads. So the voters that told me they voted no said, John, if you'd made it clean and simple. Now, I didn't vote to put it on the ballot, and I didn't Right, vote you to, had problems with it, too. I yeah. had problems with it, too, because I thought that it was confusing, and I thought that it raised taxes in far too many other areas that didn't go to roads. So that brings us to the proposal that last week passed the Michigan Senate, uh, much of which I supported, some of which I couldn't support. Uh, the gas tax increase that was sent to the House of Representatives really does put us in Southwest Michigan at a disadvantage with our friends here in Indiana. Yeah. Why is that the case? The gas tax would go up to 34 cents a gallon in the state of Michigan, whereas it's only 19 cents a gallon in the state of Indiana. That's and on a your huge counties difference. and your district, they're just going to cross the border to get gas in Indiana? I think folks will. I think we're price sensitive when it comes to gasoline. I, I get calls all the time when we have those huge spikes before the holiday weekends like this past July 4th weekend. Uh, and, and folks ask the question, why is it the gas has gone up so much? Well, we know it's supply and demand. We also know, though, that our folks are price sensitive. And so they'll cross the border. I think we'll lose business and, and, and economic development along the border. That's a problem for me in Michigan. I want to make sure that we compete fairly and squarely with our friends in Indiana, but in a way that benefits Michigan. Can you hammer out a deal between the House and the Senate, something that is going to be long-term, long-standing, and fix it once and for good, not just these little fixes here and there. People really have a problem with the crumbling roads that are they're just falling yeah. apart throughout the state. You're right, Trisha. The folks talk about that all the time. And in Southwest Michigan, I think folks also look at it and say, what are you doing with the current budget dollars that you have? We send you tax dollars in Lansing as a legislator. Sure. What are you doing to make sure that you're spending it wisely for the areas that we know are of most importance? And if roads are important, then we need to focus on putting money towards roads. We've done that in the last three budget cycles where we actually took general fund dollars mm -hmm. that could have gone to any number of other areas and priorities, and we've plowed that into road funding. So over a billion dollars has gone in in one-time funding into roads. I, that, to me, is proof that we can walk and chew gum, number one, and then number two, we can actually dedicate those dollars in a way that I think makes the, the, the kind of priorities that my, led, my, my constituents want us to focus on. When will we hear more? Uh, we'll hear more by this next week. We, we know that the House is in session on Tuesday the 14th, the Senate's in session on the 15th, and hopefully we'll have a compromise by then. All right, thank you, and keep in touch with us so we can uh, educate everyone on what's happening. You bet, right? I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Senator John Prose joining us here on 16 Morning News. We'll be back with your top news headlines. Stay with us.